morning children welcome back to our online class i hope that you all are safe at home yes children do you know which class is this yes gk so i hope that you have completed that which i have completed last class so have you all learned that okay shall we start today's class children in the last class we have completed two lesson that is about animals and uh, types of written communication in that about animals two parts we have completed the first one is slot the animal names given in the help box into the right spaces to complete the table then choose the right answer to complete the facts of the emperor penguin then types of written communication also two parts we have completed that is first one a notice is a, a displayed sheet or a play, play card giving news or information table the quiz given below on and other forms of writing by ticking the correct answer then we match the words that appear on the front page of a newspaper to their correct description this too we have completed okay so i hope that you have learned all those things children today we are going to learn about page number 45 that is flying high the indian flag flying high the indian flag okay so do you know the flag for the country india yes you all know is it yes children a flag is the most important symbol of a country similarly the national flag of india is a symbol of paramount significance of our india The national flag of India is a symbol of honor, patriotism and freedom for the country. It represents the unity of the people of India in spite of the differences in language, culture, religion, class, etc. Most noteworthy Indian flag is a horizontal rectangular tricolor. Furthermore, The flag of India consists of saffron, white and green. The proposal of the flag to the Indian National Congress was made by Mahatma Gandhi in 1921. Furthermore, the flag was designed by Pingali Venkaiya. In the center of the flag was a traditional spinning wheel, then a modification of the design to place to include a white stripe in the center this modification took place for other religious communi- communities and also to create a background for the spinning wheel to avoid <coughs> the sec- sectarian associations with the color scheme the experts chose three colors most noteworthy these three colors were saffron white and green the color saffron represents courage and sacrifice furthermore the color white denotes peace and truth moreover the color green symbolizes faith and chivalry a specially constituted constituent assembly a few days before the independence made an important decision Furthermore, this decision was that the Indian flag must be acceptable to all communities and parties. Nevertheless, there was no change in the colors of the flag of India. However, there was replacement of the chakra by the Ashoka chakra. Moreover, the Ashoka chakra represents the the eternal wheel of law the rules say that when two flags are 
fully spread out horizontally on a wall behind a pyorium their hoists must be towards each other furthermore the surf front stripes should be uppermost when the flag display is on a short flag pole then the mounting should be at an angle of the wall moreover the angle is such that the flag is draped tracefully from it when flags display occurs on crossed staffs then hoists should be towards each other one must never use the national flag of india to cover tables lecterns podiums or buildings when the display of the flag takes place indoors then it must always be on the right this is because right in the position of authority furthermore the flag must always be on the speaker's right hand and when the display of flag occurs next to a speaker most noteworthy whenever the display of flag takes place it should be completely spread out in conclusion the national flag of india is the pride of our nation furthermore the flag of india represents the sovereignty of the country most noteworthy it is a moment of she proudness and happiness of our every indian to watch the national flag flying the national flag of india certainly deserves the utmost respect of every citizen of india what are the three colors of national flag of india can you say that is the three colors of the national flag of india are saffron white and green what does the color saffron represents the national flag of india can you say yes the color saffron in the national flag of india represents courage and sacrifice is it yes now take page number 45 take page number 45 see the question what they have given what is given there here are some pictures of indian flags that were used before our tricolor was designed read the information and number the flags in the order in which they were designed so the information given below that the flag what they design also it was there you want to match that okay in the box you want to write the numbers understand what is given in the first point 1857 bahadur shah saver uses a green flag with a lotus and a roti bahadur shah saver uses a green flag with a lotus and a roti so which flag it is can you guess can you say that yes that green color that is given green flag with a lotus and a roti that is f option f is the correct is it so in that box you write number 1 that box you have to write number 1 okay next 1905 sister nivedita designs a square red flag the flag has a thunderbolt lotus 108 jotus which flag it was yes d d part that box it is given no uh, there you want to write two okay next third one 1906 a tricolor flag that is green yellow red with a row of eight lotus flowers a sun and a crescent moon is hoisted at calcutta yes that is a option nearby that the box given 
3 is it uh, there you write 3 next 1907 madam kama madam kama unfolds the similar flag in green saffron red that is a staggered germany that is g g flag nearby that one box is there no there you write 4 then 1916 dr annie besant designs a flag for the home rule league the flag has a mini union jack what is that fifth one that is c option c it is correct okay then 1921 lala hans suggests using the chakra symbol p vengaya that is designs a white green and red flag sixth one that is b option option b in the box you write next 1931 a tricolor flag of saffron white and green with a small dark blue chakra is officially adopted the, the option e e is correct there you in the box you write with pencil seven then 1947 the tiranga designed by miss suraya type g is approved miss hansa Mehta presents the first tiranga to dr rajendra prasad that is h h is the correct answer in that box you write eight then see why all says the study of the history of symbolism and the usage of flags is called vexillology vexillology okay so one word they can ask what is called vexillology study of history symbolism usage of flags okay then ratio of it to length of our national flag is 2 is to 3 2 is to is to 3 okay one word they can ask so this is about flag then page number 46 next lesson solid solid shapes solid solid shapes what are solid shapes see now you are reading this on a laptop or a computer what is its shape cuboidal yes that's right what is a cuboid it's a solid shape similarly is a cylinder cones etc these are all solid shapes let us know more about them okay plane figure shapes are either two dimensional shapes or flat plane geometry shapes is it yes shape their sides are made of straight or curved lines they can have any number of sides plane figures made of lines are called polygons triangle and squares are examples of two dimensional shapes are planar graphically speaking they depend on two only two coordinates x and y of our instance consisting of x unit and y unit respectively in the case of the uh, polygons that is in the case of the coordinating system of more than two dimensions the shape would still depend on two coordinate directions you were also introduced the to three dimensional shapes many objects that you see in your day-to-day -day life like book pencil box ice cream cone football cylinder or three dimensional objects all these objects occupy some shape and have three dimensional length breadth height or depth okay example we can say that a figure drawn on paper which has length breadth height are called 3d shapes or figures in a mathematical term 3d shape has three dimensional d in 3d stands for dimensional and in the world of with the dimensions you can travel forward backward right left and even up and down 3d shapes have four properties that them are apart from 2d shapes faces vertices edges and volume these properties not only allow you to determine whether the shape is 2d or 3d but also which 3d shape it is what exactly are solid shape or, or figures 
solid solid shapes or figures refer to three dimensional objects what this means is that every solid figure will have a depth width and and height next take page number 46 a part a ball is solid shape used in various games look at the pictures of the balls we used in various games today choose the correct names of the games given in the box and write them below what's the first ball baseball second one bowling third one billiards fourth one golf ball is it then fifth one volleyball sixth one football seventh one rugby okay then b part how will we do, do you know the commonly seen saucer ball above take the quiz quick quiz below choosing the right answer to complete each sentence the soccer ball is made up of just pentagons pentagons uh, and hexagons or sansa pentagons and hexagons the black shapes of the and the white shapes sorry unequal or equal in number unequal in number the soccer ball has 180 edges when someone makes the soccer ball each shape edges when together it another shapes edge so the maker sews 180 or 90 or 45 of those lines in total that is 90 The ball was introduced in the 1970 World Cup as Adidas, Telstar or Brazuka. Telstar. As many countries did not have color television in 1970, the black and white pattern made it easily or less visible on television. Easily visible on television. Then what is voice owl says first point? A cell bro- bureau's is a traditional knitting pattern from selbu norway the, the pattern is an eight pointed star see the picture then a square with round edge is a dash square kill square kill okay so that is one word study so children today we have learned page number 45 and 46 that is flying high the indian flag and solid shapes okay so these two pages uh, you want to learn thoroughly okay so already you have completed the before portions i think so today you learn these two lesson very clearly okay children okay thank you thank you anand all